Good afternoon, folks. It is a scorching hot afternoon over here in the valley area. We made the drive down from the high desert where it was 100 plus degrees today. But here's not much better. It's about 95 degrees. I think it's cooled off a bit. I, it was 95 when I left. Let's take a look. Oh, the high of 97. Heat advisory, Los Angeles, San Fernando Valley. That's here. Look at the temperature. Look at the upcoming temps in the next few days. That is going to be brutal. 97, 98. 89 is not that bad. So today we're out here in the valley. I thought about going all the way back out to the city again today, but I was like, you know what? Let's see what's going on in the valley. Get some exploration out here. One of my favorite places to come ride my BMX. Uh, but today we are on the electric dirt bike. I mentioned this in yesterday's video. I am probably going to be riding this in a lot of future videos. And I mean, I mean, probably like 95% of them going on here on out. I am itching to get back on my BMX. I was just starting to feel good on it again, so I'll probably be riding that as well. But uh, as far as filming, I am just having so much fun filming on this thing right now. So that's what we're doing. We're going to find some things to shred out here in the valley today. I have a couple of ideas. I'm not too well versed in this area still because I don't come out here much. And when I do, it's on the BMX, so I don't really see that much. We've got a green light, but there is a fire truck coming in hot, so we're going to wait. Oh, there's two of them must be a legit fire anywho uh we're gonna check out a few things in this area starting with places i've been on my bmx and then we're gonna go for a little cruise so one thing about north hollywood is it's on the border of burbank burbank is i think one of the most non-bike friendly cities in all of la look at this open trench that'd be sick to drop in on is there a way out uh oh it's kind of sketch anyways they really don't like burbank i mean they don't like bikes in burbank at all and I'm sure electric bikes are gonna be no different. <laughs> Dude's like, what the hell is that? But I got some beater shoes on. We're gonna hit some dirt. We're gonna hit some, uh, not trails or anything, but I know some sick ass dirt that we can at least mob through and get things started there. So real quick, I wanna say, if you like these electric dirt bike videos, make sure you hit the like button on this video. It helps the video, it helps the channel, and it helps me know what you guys like. So uh, if you enjoy this electric dirt bike content, make sure you hit the like button. And subscribe if you haven't because we're going to be coming in hot with a lot more electric dirt bike videos coming soon. Uh, right now we're just mobbing through the hood of the valley, North Hollywood to be specific. Oh, that's a nice house. A lot of beautiful properties here, a lot of uh, remodeling going on. I think we're going to cut, I think we're going to keep going straight actually. We, if we keep going straight, I believe we get to this dirt path, is, which is what I'm looking for. So one of the main reasons I rarely film out in uh, North Hollywood is because it's so flat and there's really like nothing to do. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I put some new bars on this thing. It came with flats. I put the three inch risers from my deity on here and they actually feel damn good. Like they feel so good. I, I, like, I saw this was a really common upgrade with these bikes was to put risers on. So I was like, huh, I wonder if I could just throw my deity dirt jumper bars on here. And to my surprise, with the stock stem, they fit perfectly. So I threw these on, got them tightened down, and they feel like super comfy. It's a very nice ride. So yeah, that's my first mod to this thing. I like how the flat bars look. I don't like, I mean, I'm not too partial to how they felt because I only had them on for a day or two anyway. So it wasn't really long enough to feel a difference, but I can tell that already the risers are much more comfortable. So I think we're about here. I'm just like literally getting lost in alleys right now. A lot of tagging back here. I'm gonna bust some glass, tempered glass though, so. Uh, I tried a wheelie last night and I looped out. It was terrifying. And even worse, I didn't even do it in grass. I don't know what came over me. I just tried to send it in like the street in front of my house, looped out, never again. Not trying them anywhere besides grass. There's a dog park over there. Um, I think I'm getting close to where I was looking for, but. Got some dirt, we can at least rip right here. Nice. <laughs> There's a whole little dirt path right here. Who knew? That's sick. This isn't even what I was looking for. I mean, but that was sick. I'm probably gonna turn around and rip it the other way. I always get a little sketch going through tall grass because I don't want to run into like a, a giant hole and not see it. Nice. Damn, that curb is huge. I thought I was gonna be able to pop right back up it, but 
I think we're gonna have to go around. Dude, that was so fun ripping through that dirt like that. I'm doing it again. Sport mode? Oh God. <laughs> oh baby. Oh baby. Now that's fun. <laughs> Dude, I would love to take this to like a rugged trail. I know that like most places aren't super like okay with them, especially not on mountain bike trails. That's like a big no-no. But um, it's gotta be somewhere I could take this thing besides just flat dirt like this. This is sick though. See more dirt in front of me. We just gotta wait for the cars. All right. Ooh, keeping it moving. On to this next patch. Looks like this is a no trespassing area though, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that's probably because there's power lines. But I see a way in. Ugh. Woo! This is the area I was thinking of actually, ironically. There's like a little parking lot up here. Shredded. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Word. Or we got a little bit more dirt. Um, and then that's it. We're just going to keep mobbing through the dirt because it goes for quite a while. Let's skip this part. So we're crossing into Burbank. This is the official uh, border into Burbank. So boom, right as we cross the street, Burbank. Got to be a little bit more careful out here. Ooh, this is some bumpy dirt. After I hit this dirt, I don't really know where I'm gonna go. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go after this dirt. I'm probably just gonna hit some alleys or something. I do know is that we're gonna go back across the border. We do not wanna go into Burbank today. Not on the agenda. We're gonna rip down the street for a bit. I'm trying to avoid riding into the sun as much as possible, so. I see a little spot up here though. That's why I'm coming through these alleys. Coming out alleys are like the most dangerous ways on a bicycle uh, to go through, so I'm sure it is equal on a dirt bike. Oh, nice. This is this a 7 Eleven? Nice. I'm telling you, out here, you really got to make something out of nothing because there's a lot of nothing. At least the rare graffiti out in North Hollywood, you don't see that much out here. Very neighborhoodish vibes. I think I'm gonna keep taking this alley till it ends because I don't ever alley cruise out here, so we're gonna see what there is. If I'm not mistaken, we're at the bike path. Yep, this is the bike path. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. All right, we're gonna get off the bike path before someone tries to be like, you're not supposed to be on the bike path, look at that. Good thing we could smash in the dirt. A little sketchy, but you know, we're making it work. Look at this little path right here. Interesting. I never would have known this is a thing. <laughs> this is like a secret bike path for, uh, you know, extracurricular method of getting down the bike path. Let's go. I actually wanted to hit this right here. Ooh. Boom. Let's go. That was pretty dope. <laughs> that was fun. I've ridden down that bike path on my road bike a few times, but uh, never like that. Is there a way back out? No, it's sealed. Pretty sure there's a way if I keep going around. It's like someone's a uh, little spot right there. Someone's shooting a movie. Whenever you see these, most likely the film shoot's going down. Oh, boom, exit right here. Lit. Is that a cop? Can we get over this? Let's go. All righty, that was a fun little shred, huh? We are now getting into, I guess what you could say is downtown. Are those the same fire trucks that pass us on the way here? I think they are. Looks like the fire has been extinguished. Oh, and there's a 
paramedic coming behind him though that's not good this is what i guess you would consider like a downtown part of um, north hollywood it's really small there's really not much to it but we're gonna try and shred it real quick if we can get across Doesn't look that sir is why you never cross before you see the green hand even then you go cautiously Nice. Gonna get out here and hop into sport mode. No cars. Wow. It is just like getting teleported when you hit it in sport mode on this thing. Outrageous. So much fun. Dangerous though. I'm getting used to switching back and forth. I wanna always, you know, be aware what mode I'm in. That's important. Because if you hit the throttle in the wrong mode, you think you're in a eco and you're in sport mode, big trouble. Big, big, big trouble. Bike will go from right under you. I don't want that to happen ever. So <laughs> we're always double checking to make sure what mode I'm in. Train station, you guys have seen me come here plenty of times on the BMX. One times. Smashing out. I think we're gonna make a loop here and cross through downtown. People are crossing. Is it safe to cross right now? I guess so. Oh yeah, I see the, the white walk symbol. Oh my God. That was like a face of death moment. I saw that Prius coming in hot. I was like, oh no. Whoosh. Yeah, <laughs> you're good, bro. <laughs> When we said whoosh, does he not know the phrase is vroom? Vroom. Shredding. Homie on the BMC, dude. I've been itching to ride my road bike again. I haven't touched that thing in a minute. Definitely going to be whipping it out soon, though. Cruising, we're gonna go down Magnolia, I guess. We're just like uh, wandering right now. I wanna go places I haven't been though. That's kind of the point. So after we go down Magnolia, we are gonna maybe head south towards the hills. Cause I've never really gone to like the hills area out here. Dude, yesterday's video, 37 minutes. Let me know if any of you guys watched the entire thing because dude, I could post such long videos with this bike now because I'm so much more unlimited with my stamina and all that so you got the Tesla car I got the Tesla bike baby let's go so that's the downtown it's really like nothing I don't know what if I'm even gonna include anything there I can't really if I was on my BMX I could probably do some bunny hops or something but not really much going on there Cruising, dude, you know what else is crazy? That I, I mean, it's just crazy to me because, you know, I've been riding BMX my entire life is that I can go through the drive through on this thing if I wanted to. That is just insane to me. <laughs> it's such a game changer. It's just actually hilarious. Because it's one of those things I never considered before, but I'm like, oh my God, I can do that. You know, if I wanted to. All right, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm just like in a random parking lot, like straight up. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> We're gonna make our way out of here and then uh, cut back through a neighborhood or something. Got a pink Civic. Very nice. All right, see, this is what we call the North Hollywood predicament. Whenever I come out here, I'm just like, what do I do? <laughs> Everything's flat. There's not really much to see. It's all kind of like neighborhoods. It'd be fun if I had someone to rip around with me on one of these. By the way, I'm just gonna throw the back call out there. If any of you guys have these electric Surons, hit me up, hit me up, let's cruise. I don't uh, have anyone to ride with right now. So if you live around LA and you wanna film, I'm kind of down. You know, I'm kind of scatterbrained, so I may or may not reply, but I will definitely, you know, if I see it, I'll probably be like, yo, let's ride. Next thing I'll do maybe is change the seat. I don't know if I really need to. It's definitely stiff. It's a very stiff seat. They have like this cushiony one they sell. Luna Cycle has one, but I don't know if I really need it. Plus it raises you up. I don't know if I want to be raised up. I kind of enjoy the, the sitting angle I'm at, but you know, I don't know. 
Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> right on all right so we're back here in the little downtown area we're gonna hang it right up here and see if there's anything to do up here uh, there's a lot of water i was gonna turn right there but i don't want to get knobbies wet anyone who's ever ridden knobbies on a mountain bike know that water does not mix well with them at least like standing water it's the last thing you want to ride through i'm gonna cut through here but I've been on my BMX a few times. Let's see if we can get something cracking on uh, this bike. This bike is making a lot of noises that I'm not sure if it was making last time I was riding. Like it has that hiss sound. Okay, we're gonna try and go upstairs again and see how that goes. Nice, much better that time. Swerving through the statues. noise getting lost in the sauce in north hollywood yeah this might jog some of you guys memory this is a bmx spot i used to always come to but it's knob now oh they took the knobs off someone removed the knobs that's so funny this part's still knob though word where well, we're gonna keep going straight there's a park up ahead so we're gonna go check out the park i don't know if it's just me but i feel like so far on the two rides i've done every time i've seen a motorcyclist they kind of give me this look of contempt. Like, uh, that's not a real motorcycle. Like, yeah, no shit. It's not supposed to be. I mean, I'll keep it 100. If I wanted to get a dirt bike, like an actual one, I would get a dirt bike. I'd get a 450 or something. Like something with some motor motor. But I just don't want one. I really, like, I never even thought I'd get on this. This is a big step for me, honestly. Bingo compared it to a 125, but now that I've been riding it a little bit more, I think that's a little too dramatic. I don't think it's a 125. There's no DRZ and it definitely ain't a, like a 450 dirt bike. That's just what it isn't. Oh, that's mud. Not really trying to rip through mud. Try through this park real quick, and then um, there's another half to it, and we're gonna go on that side. Sick. Love that. There's like a track that goes around this side of the park, I think, but we're gonna avoid it. We're just gonna get across the street. This street is notoriously hard to cross too, so. We're gonna have to go up to the crosswalk. So sketch getting across that street. Push right through the park. Place is full of life. This is kind of like the dog area of the park. It's not really a dog park per se, so I'm not gonna go straight. I don't wanna get any dogs chasing me because I know there'll be some that are tempted. This is like the busy side of the park. The other side of the park is not nearly as packed as this. Let's go. That was pretty fun. Oh, other side of the freeway and then go down the street. But those are all just major roads and I'm not really trying to be on major roads like bam. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you don't already. All right, we're going to keep it moving uh, from here. We're gonna get out of this park. There's just too many people. It's a nice summer day. I don't blame them. Gotta get past the pubs and then we shred. I don't see any people through here. We're gonna go this way. Love it. Dude, that's where this thing really shines is just Big wide open off-road areas. Oh. So I came here thinking that there is a way to get into this riverbed area, but I don't think there is. Uh, I'm gonna do one more quick check. Love that. Uh, the sun is setting for sure. There was one way in over here if I wasn't mistaken, but it looks like it's been shut up. Yeah, I think it was right through here. I was planning on going in right through here and you can just shred down that dirt path, but I don't think there was chain link last time I came. So we're gonna shoot back across the street, see if we can get in on that side, because if you get on that side, there's a tunnel. Looks like that guy just came out through there, so we should be golden. All right, boom, this is, <laughs> this is the entrance. This is kind of sketch. Let's see where it leads. I've never gone down here, ever. Smells interesting. Smells like straight sewage, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, 
Nice little shred of Rooney's own. Very lit. Oh, okay. That was a bunch of broken glass and stuff right there too. Dude, it's pretty sick. Places I never would have been able to go through on my BMX, that's for sure. Can I get out through here? That'd be great. Oh, there is. There's a way in and out. Why this was developed? I don't know. Oh, nice. Nice little hill climb there. We can bomb back down. <laughs> Let's go. That was pretty dope. So we're gonna go this way. Straight through the park. See a guy with his dog, gonna avoid that. Dude, just unparalleled freedom on this bike. I've never thought something like this would ever be possible. To be honest, I couldn't even do it on a regular dirt bike. I probably would have got pulled over by now, but the fact that this thing is silent, it just, man, just opens up so many opportunities. It's insane. Nice, dude. All right. I think that was a nice little North Hollywood ride. Definitely more than I've ever been able to do on a BMX, that's for sure. Yeah, like I mentioned, it would be really sick to have someone to ride with. I feel like it'd be like, um, be able to just make more out of less, if that makes any sense, you know, because... It's not much going on out here, but if I had someone to ride with, then, then, you know, I mean, in general, it's just more fun doing this with another person. On my BMX, I don't know why I really love riding solo. I think it's because I'm so scatterbrained and like, I love like just bouncing around and like stopping at one thing for a minute. This guy totally was not looking. Look at this, <laughs> straight up didn't even stop. Insane. That's why you gotta stay woke. I never fly into an intersection, just like I don't on my BMX. I feel like if I just treat traffic the same way I have on my BMX, then I should be good in 95% of situations. Nobody paying attention in these cars, man. You, if you think that anyone is looking out for you, you've already, you're DOA. You're finished before you even got off the ground because no, one, no one's looking. None of these people driving are paying attention to anything other than their phones, in my opinion. Here's the thing, in LA, I've heard both. I've had cops tell me to get out of the street and get on the sidewalk, and I've had them tell me to get off of the sidewalk and get in the street. I'm just gonna do whatever feels right at any time because you're bound to be told otherwise, no matter what you're doing. And at the end of the day, whose safety am I looking out for? Primarily myself and then everyone else around me. To everybody who's crying about me riding on a sidewalk, just know you got a whole lot more of that to look forward to. Just saying. That's a nice blacked out I-8. Very clean. <laughs> I tried to bunny hop that water. I don't know if I even did it. I'm pretty sure I did. Not the craziest video, but I do need to get a full day committed to wheelies. If you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to commit a whole day to making a video just about getting some wheelie progress and then maybe make like a like a one week of wheelie progress video, stuff like that. Uh, I am super interested in learning wheelies soon. I'm not gonna be doing a lot of wheelies because I don't feel like wheelies are necessarily content straight up. Like I don't feel like I have to do wheelies in order to have good content on this thing. It's just something that I want to do and I feel like it'll be a lot of fun. Even though they're kind of dangerous, so I won't be busting them out all the time everywhere, but you know, here and there, if I got them dialed, it'd be cool to do. Where the hell am I going? I don't know. I'm just going down random alleys. We're going to wrap it up. Folks, excellent second day on the electric dirt bike. I'm loving this thing. Make sure you guys like the video if you haven't already. Make sure you get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about the videos on the electric dirt bike. As always, folks, stay safe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.